here we go. Wish me luck. So I'm going to make the top of it first. The other one I made the bottom first. And it wasn't any more difficult or anything. But what I want to do, and the reason I'm making the top first, is uh, that I want to see how big I can make it with three pounds of clay. So I'm going to just, instead of trying to make it to a particular size, I'm just going to make it as big as I can. And then make the bottom to fit the top.
No. <laughs> I don't know. I may not have left myself enough clay to do this. It's gonna be pretty thin, but let's see how I can do. If I can keep from leaving a whole bunch of it in the bottom, on the bottom, on the back, you know. That's not gonna work. Let's see if So I'm going in there and I can kind of feel where the clay starts to thicken up. gonna get all cloudy now and rain on us. Let me turn on some light here. Let's slow it down. I'm going to close this because I don't think I have enough clay left for a knob. So I'm just going to apply a knob after because 
now with it closed, I can shape it uh, a little better. And I can always put a knob on there. All right, let's see here. Okay, so with the knob, I can probably start the knob right in there somewhere. Okay, let's see. Sponge it off. And we'll let this set up. I'll poke a hole in it so it won't burst. I'll let it sit, uh, sit and get a little stiffer. I took the the lid to this tagine and I set it aside so it can set up a little bit before I put the, the very little top thing on it. And I've got another three pounds um, centered right here and I'm going to make the, um, the bottom part of the dish. <clears throat> and I got <clears throat> I got lucky and got that bat again. It's got the it's got the loose hole in it. Let's see. I was gonna stuff a little bit of clay down in it and see if I can minimize the bouncing because I want this to be perfectly centered. All right, let's see how that works. Okay, let's check the depth at the bottom. I want to leave um, quite, oh, maybe half an inch or more. Whoa, that's way too much. Uh, so that I can make a decent foot on it and also do some trimming in order to have that decent foot. So we can take that down about half an inch, but all the while you need to be sure you're compressing the bottom. Wall over this way.
just can't get a right angle on that. Let's see if I can do it with this. Or this. Maybe this one. Make sure that this hole is open. Yep. Well, here is here is my second tagine lid <clears throat> on that one. Uh, you watched me throw it. I I went up to a point and closed the top. And the reason I did that is because I did, ran out of clay and I didn't have enough for this. And so I let it, it kind of worked out because then I could let this part set up overnight. And um, after it set up, I just kind of cut off the top half inch and stuck a little bit of clay on there and threw this part. So I kind of went about it in two steps. You, um, I think that I would add, so I started with three pounds. I think that I would at least go with three and a half. Next time I throw one of these, I'll probably be a little bit better at getting the weight out of this part right here. I was a little afraid to stick my finger too far over in, on the inside because I didn't want to push it off the bat. But I think I would have been okay. <clears throat> so anyway, I threw this separately, or threw it uh, in place after it set up all night. Okay, here's the bottom of the tagine and, or of the second one. And as you can see, I put kind of a shallow uh, foot on it, just really just for looks more than anything. Here is the first one. Oops, I left the inside of it kind of dirty, but I'll clean that out. That's just shaving. Um, but here is the first one, my first tagine that I've ever thrown. <clears throat> and the other one, um, I don't think I videoed this one while I was throwing it, but I'll tell you, I like the shape of the bottom part of this better. See that profile on there? I like that better. I like this little dent that goes right here. Now, this lid is not as curved as the second one is, but the top part is the same, and... I've seen the top part like this, where it's just kind of a little, actually this is like a little bowl type thing on top of here. Um, I, when I looked on the internet and saw them in use, um, it looked like they used this thing for putting their big spoon in there. So I'll put a brush in there just to show you what I'm talking about. That's how they would see that brush sticking out of there. If that was a wooden spoon, it would stay there in the same way. But that's what they look like. That's what it looked like to me anyway. Um, so I just didn't want to not show you this little tagine, my very first one. The second one, I like the lid better because it's curved. I kind of like that curve. And those are both still drying out in the studio. But I'll show them to you when I get them uh, bisque and glazed. So that'll be exciting. So 
I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.